Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been a little while since I made a video, but uh, I've been lazy. So today we'll, I said we'll be talking about supports, so we'll be covering them today. Still with the inspiration tree. Why does that always do that? Now a lot of supports could take, will probably take uh, Kleptomancy. After using an ability, your next attack gets uh, one of gold against the champion. Also a chance you gain a consumable. The consumables are really what you're after for this. So they can give you a massive power boost with just for free, really. So we'll just take that. We'll take it on like a a Karma or something. Now, a lot of people like Hectech Flash. I've definitely seen it used like for to great effect, but I personally don't like it just because of the channeling for two seconds. It's kind of very obvious if someone could see you. The stopwatch is always just a good buy. Gives you a little zonias at six minutes. And there's always the biscuits. The biscuits are real nice. An interesting thing, if you have a uh, kleptomancy and you get a biscuit of from the kleptomancy, it will also increase your mana permanently by 40. By 40. So we'll take that and that. And we'll also take magical footwear. I want to like minion uh, dem dematerializer, but I just haven't found a use for it. Futures market is... Really good on the first buy, but every buy after that it becomes considerably worse. Because every time you buy, you put another 50 gold on it. So your first buy you lose 50 gold, second buy you lose a total 100, then 150, then 200, then 250. So you're just further setting back your next item. So it'll go magical footwear. Because all supports want movement speed. And uh, you could go approach velocity if you're like, say... Uh... I don't know, like an Alistair or something, someone gets slowed, you can walk up to them very quickly. You can always take Cosmic Insight, which is just a really good uh, mastery rune thing. Celestial Body is pretty good for tanks, just in general. But we'll take Cosmic Insight. And let's say we'll be playing, let's say we're we'll playing a Karma, so Karma would probably want to take. Transcendence and Water Walking. No. Transcendence and Ultimate Hat, I guess? I like the Ultimate Hat, it's just not the greatest. A lot of people like Mana Flow Bind, they could take that instead, or Nullifying Orb. These are all equally good. But yeah, this could be a decent Karma page. Karma support. For a more tanky support, you'd probably want to go somewhere in the Resolve Tree. Something like Font of Light. Maybe you want to play an Alistair. But Alistair would probably specialize in these ones. Now, if you want to take a support that's going to rely on items, I don't exactly know who this would be, but someone with, like, uh, it's going to build the Frost Queen's Tribute or whatever it's called. Frost Queen's Claimant. Interesting about the Glacial Argument, it doesn't have a range. The range is as far as the item goes. So you can have it select this, and then you probably go biscuit or anything really. Go this, and go this. Maybe you want to play like a Janna or something. But do you want to go this instead of uh, Ari? Yeah, d d okay, this does give movement speed, so yeah, this probably be good at supports too. Water walking. I, for some reason, I couldn't read the movement speed. This is just another decent support, just... You need, this one is very require, uh, reliant on items. You can, like, you just use the auto attack and get a slow that way. But then you're only getting half of the, uh, half the rune, which is, means there's, like, no point to build it. Or to take it. Now, if you want to take, like, a more, uh, tanky, maybe like an Alistair, or, or a Leona... An aftershock is always good. You go in, you get you Q or you E, and then you get uh, an AOE damage thing, kind of like Leona's W, and just do a massive amount of damage because it it does a lot, especially early game, and it also scales really well. Then Font of Life will keep your AD carry or anyone else who you're attacking with nice and healthy. This is really quiet. Then I hmm as a support as like an Alistar 
probably just, or Luna, I'd probably just take that. Because Luna doesn't really have any, have any easily to go, ah, easy to proc shields or heals. Alistair kind of does, but it's very, not random, but it's not going to be the most opportune time. And then probably revitalize. Second wind is really good if you're going to be in like a poke lane. You can easily like sustain just from the second wind. But revitalize is going to make font of life even stronger. Then as a support on like a Leona and Alistair, you could take something like Cosmic Insight, Magical Footwear, Legend Tenacity, and Overheal, Legend Tenacity, and Triumph, and it's Mind. However, Zombie Ward would give you a massive amount of uh, vision control, an extra ward for 3 minutes. And you could also take Relentless Hunter. That would just give you, that basically gives you a slightly worse mobility boot. So you proc that on mobility, you can get like 148, 156, something like that, movement speed. And you're just able to fly around the map. But if you want to go like a more, maybe like a Sona, then you probably want something like uh, Aerie. Because Aerie is just generally good on everyone. I believe it's getting nerfed next patch. But uh, Airy and then like maybe Ultimate Hat, Nullifying or any of these are good, personal preference. I'd pre go with Ultimate Hat. Then... If you want to be like a, a mobility focused sport, you want to roam a lot, then Celerity is always decent, just because of the 4% four four increased movement speed. Then you go with Water Walking, you get in the river, you get a nice little damage boost. Not much, but it's something, and you can easily get mobility, and go like this, and you can just fly around the map. But uh, I'd probably take Transcendence, and Water Walking. If you think it's going to be like a long game, then Gathering the Storm is still good. I think it lasts like over 40 minutes, and this thing becomes amazing. Uh, and then the last one will probably be something like Biscuits, and a Magical Footwear, and Classic Insight. Giving you a nice ability of... Extra city on your ultimate, extra city R, uh, extra movement speed while in the river, getting you able to roam to mid lane or to top lane very quickly, extra movement speed, and then extra city R, allowing you to easily proc your abilities, proc ultimate, proc everything that makes you you, because it also affects item city R, so you can proc redemption or glory or hourglass or stuff like that faster if you build it. So yeah, it was a uh, sports are pretty simple to build for, but a lot more diverse than other champions. But they're still pretty simple at heart. If you're playing like a aggressive support for some reason, like maybe like a kill lane, like you want to play Tamp Antheon bottom lane, Electrocute's always good. Electrocute, Sun Impact, Zombie Ward, a Hunter with. Something like that. It could be a Pantheon support. I think these two are just like really good. Biscuit's always also good, but I don't think it like compares to these two. Flag X Tech Flash, it's it definitely has its uses, but I just haven't I just don't really like it too much. It's personal preference, I guess. But yeah, so thank you for that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for stopping by and thank you for hanging out. Tune in next time when we talk about Marksman. I believe that's the one we have left. See ya.